you know, you had started making some whiskey here at your facility. You were talking about earlier about you had a, a copper pot still, and then you said, all right, we got to, let's go ahead, bring in the, the column still. But you were also sourcing a lot at the same exact time. And you kind of always said that Old Scout is kind of what puts you on the map at that point. So talk about where, you know, sourcing started coming in and why sourcing really never left for you. Well, you know, we found, we didn't even know about sourcing when we started the business. So it's amazing. Most people did. And they're like, I can get what from where for how much? Right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and today we, just, we were talking about it early when we were walking around the distillery and the business is so much different than it was when we started. But to today, if a brand is interested in, if somebody's interested in creating a brand, frequently what they do is they go out and find contract distillate. They make a brand. They see if they can be successful with the brand. And if they are, then they build a distillery. We were fools. We did it the opposite way. We started the distillery first and then started sourcing whiskey. But the reality was, of it was that we didn't know, we didn't really know about source whiskey. And we found out about source whiskey when we were buying our second still. We had one pot still. We bought a second still. And, and during that interaction, we found out about source whiskey. And so about the same time we were starting on the second still, we were started to dabble in the source whiskey. And that was 2011. And that was Old Scout, right? And we also made some mistakes with Old Scout was that we wanted to make Old Scout a brand that was about antique shopping for whiskey. We were going out and find a little of this and a little of that and a little bit of this. And we were trying to release it into the market. You might think of it like, you know, like independent bottlers of scotch, and there's a couple of brands that have done a really good job with that, you know, making something a specific proof or aging in some unique way or finishing in some unique way. And that was the goal of Old Scout. And the problem was, is that the bourbon business was exploding. And so Old Scout became something different than it originally was intended to do. And so we were still making whiskey here at the distillery and making more than ever because Old Scout was successful but we were also sourcing more whiskey than we ever had. And and we were just winging it, right? We would have created probably a different brand and a different, now the words you know, different brand architecture than we had because we had so many variations of Old Scout along the way. So certainly a lot of, a lot of mistakes that we made along the way, but we also rode the coattails of the bourbon growth in the business. And, and oh, by the way, we worked really, really hard and obsessed about every detail. So that's really kind of how we got kind of how we got going and, and what happened with, with Old Scout for us to start off with, at least initially. 